Hello everyone. Um, I'm just waiting on a lot of more people to join this live. I'm not going to be here for too long. But um, I got this message probably about 30 minutes ago. And in the 30 minutes, I have, I have called the U.S. Consulate to inform them what happened. I have also sent an email to that effect. I have informed my lawyer and um, also to the right, um, um, to the appropriate uh, channels here in Lagos. I want to play something for you all. And I just wanted to, I wanted it to make, uh, I want to make it public and make it known that if anything happens to me, if I, if anything, anything at all, even if it's as little as a fly, patches on my skin, please hold Coco Zaria accountable for it. Because of the post that I made, he went online to um, to make some accusations as well, and also to make a threat to my life. So let me play for you all. I would add the link down in the caption when when I post this up online or on my page. <laughs> Okay, so that is the video in way one my clonum or my she or my come logo then a barra one station. Um, so if anything happens, Nigeria, the US, the world, please hold Coco Zara, who is affiliated with MCO Luomo. And as you all heard him say, APC, Bola Med Ashuaju, and um, Lagos State Government. Um, I wouldn't say they sent him to do this, but as you can rightfully hear, he mentioned all these people. So I want to take it as maybe he's the spokesperson for this attack. Um, but I'm not taking this threat lightly. And I just want everyone to know, if anything happens to me, Adani, I want you to hold Coco Zara accountable for it. Today is March the 1st, and this is 413. And as I've said, I have informed the U.S. consulate, I have informed my lawyers, and also the local police authorities here in Lagos, Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. Bye-bye.